What you're hearing is all the stray dogs that are out there. <laughs> a lot of them. Um, this place is filled with them. Uh, you don't you don't see them during the day. They're wild dogs. Uh, they eat whatever it even throws them. They're not vicious. They don't bite you or anything. Um, they come up to you. They follow you, but. Right now it's mating season, so that's why they're so aggressive right now in barking. And just like right now, across the street from the convenience store, walking through, I see the original road from what it was at Cobblestone. Cobblestone Road leads toward the back. Everything else is modern, where they redid the roads. That's original from World War II era. All the way out to the back, that's all cobblestone. Buildings are pretty ancient on the side of the road. An old iron fence. <clears throat> And a playground that's actually modern across the street. This is where he had Right there we got a T-34 tank lined up. Those World War II buffs know that that was the tank that actually held off all the Germans from the Triangle Line. Where over 10 million people lost their lives. I guess here, when they get married, they meet at the T-34 on the Nipro River. Saturday is the day they get married. I guess it's apparently a good luck thing. I don't know for sure. But there you go. You'll see more plaques and more still pics on my YouTube live. Hopefully I don't get too much snow inside. Yeah, it's all freaking freezing up on me. There we go. <laughs> what this is, this is actually a shopping center or a mall. And everybody sits outside and drink out of every, seems like every liquor store, every shopping mall, anywhere where there's uh, alcohol, they will hang outside. Because we all know it's illegal in the United States to drink outside of doors and you get arrested both here. They all smoke, drink, and do what they do. <laughs>
communist? On your town, I look at all the fine detail of each building, fine remnants of uh, World War II or of the Communist Party, which was one here. But if you look up on the very top here, the remnants of the rest of the cities again. Moscow, Leningrad, Brest, Odessa, New Russia, Kiev, Stalingrad, Minsk, Sevastopol, Kerch. Jesus. And that's all dirt from the battlefields. Mm -hmm. Stalling grass. I'm back in San Francisco. I'm home. In Ukraine. Ukraine was, a, was an interesting country to visit. It makes me happy to be home. Ukraine is a very tough place. Uh, no matter where you went, uh, people just kind of pushed you around and a lot of yelling. Uh, Germany was a nice place. Germany, uh, very, very helpful, very nice. Uh, they spoke more English there. Like when I was in Kiev, uh, when you went to the airport there, the information booth, they didn't know how to speak English. They just kind of point you and yell and scream and you were lost and... If you didn't know how to read Russian, luckily my girlfriend taught me a lot of Russian, so I got to read a lot, and that's how I, I got through it all. But uh, other than that, uh, it, it's an experience to travel alone. But it's good to be home. Good old United States. No place like it in the world. I have to say that. It's great to see other places, but it's great to be home. Renzero.